the time today. And we'll get started in just a minute. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Family Story Time. We are going to begin with a hello rhyme that I hope that you can join in with me at home. And for this, we just need to know a couple of signs in sign language. So first, we're going to say hello by putting our hand to our forehead and moving it out like in a salute. Can you do that with me? Say hello. Good job. Okay, and then we also need to say the word for friends. So we're gonna put our two pointer fingers up and they're gonna give each other a hug to say friends. Okay, so we've got hello, friends, and then it's time for time. You point to your pretend watch or your real one if you are wearing one, that's for time. And say, you're gonna put your finger by your mouth like you're talking, say. Okay, so we'll do it a couple of times so you can get it. It goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, good job. Let's try that one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, everyone. And I also like to say hello like this. Give me a nice big wave. Hi, everybody. All right. We're also going to be reading stories today all about yummy, delicious food. So we're going to sing another hello rhyme that has to do with food. It's called Bread and Butter. And for this one, we're going to slap our legs two times, which is nice if you are sitting down. You slap your lap and you clap your hands. So I'm going to start this rhythm and I want you to join in with me and then we'll do our chant. Good job. Bread and butter marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Oh, now we're going to do the opposite of quiet. What could that be? Oh, okay, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Ready? Hello! Good job. Okay, now we're going to do it up high. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. And the opposite of high is low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. All right, and then for the last one, we are gonna say hello as nicely as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nicely as we can. Hello. All right, good job. I think we are ready for our first book today. And as I said, we are talking about food. And the first book we're, I'm going to read with you is called Before We Eat From Farm to Table by Pat Brisson. So this one is actually about where we get our food and what it takes to make some of the food that we eat and put it on our table and get it at the grocery store. Um, and so for this one, we're kind of thinking about um, being thankful for where our food comes from. So I'm gonna teach you really quick the sign for thank you. Maybe some of you know this already, but you put your hand by your chin and say, thank 
Thank you. Thank you. I might see that come up in our book. As we sit around this table, let's give thanks as we are able to all the folks we'll never meet who helped provide this food we eat. They plowed the ground and planted seeds, tended fields, removed the weeds. They picked the food at harvest time, working in the heat and grime. They grazed the cattle, fed the sows, they gathered eggs and milked the cows. They fished from boats out on the seas, raised wheat and nuts and honeybees. Thank the ones who packed the crates, sorted boxes, checked the weights. Thank the drivers on the roads in their trucks with heavy loads. And all the clerks at all the stores who did the grocery selling chores. Thank the ones who bought this food, the ones who teach me gratitude. Sitting at this meal we share, we are grateful and aware, sending thanks upon the air to those workers everywhere. So can we say thank you again? Thank you. Okay, so we said thank you and we looked at where some of our food comes from. So now we're gonna look at some different kinds of food and I have a fun rhyme and it is a call and echo. So I'm gonna say something and then I want you to repeat it. So I will say it twice, but I'll say it once. And then the second time you can say it with me and you can do the actions. So let's try it. I am hungry. I am hungry. What should I eat? What should I eat? I think I'll have tomato soup. I think I'll have tomato soup with lots of heat, with lots of heat. Oh, good job. Who likes tomato soup? I do, maybe with a grilled cheese sandwich, yum. Okay, let's try it again. I am hungry, I am hungry. What should I eat? What should I eat? I think I'll have some ice cream. I think I'll have some ice cream, cold and sweet, cold and sweet. Oh, who likes ice cream? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mine is probably mint chocolate chip. All right, let's do it one more time. And this one we're gonna do about pizza. And so sometimes you have different toppings on your pizza, right? But the one we're gonna make has lots of meat on it, because I like meat on my pizza. I am hungry, I am hungry. What should I eat? What should I eat? I think I'll have some pizza. I think I'll have some pizza with lots of meat, with lots of meat. And for those that don't eat meat, you can do it without any meat, without any meat. Either way, pizza is a great food because you can put lots of different toppings on it, right? So we're gonna make a little pizza up on the board here. And we're gonna start with, what do we need first? We need that brown crust, right? So we're gonna start with our crust 
And we're gonna do a rhyme. It's kind of like the brown bear, brown bear rhyme. But we're gonna say, pizza, pizza, what do you see? I see some red sauce covering me. Okay, then on top of that red sauce, oops, we are gonna put some green peppers. Red sauce, red sauce, what do you see? I see some green peppers covering me. Next, we are going to put ooh, some black olives. So we are gonna say green peppers, green peppers, what do you see? I see some black olives covering me. Next, we have, oh, that's hard to see. These are, what do you think this could be? That's right, it's pepperoni. So black olives, black olives, what do you see? I see some pepperonis covering me. And then last but not least, we are going to sprinkle that cheese on top. Pepperoni, pepperoni, what do you see? I see lots of yummy mozzarella cheese covering me. All right, now we have that delicious pizza, yum. That looks good. All right. Great job making our pizza. Okay, next, next up, we are going to read another book. And this one is about a family getting together and sharing lots of food. And it's called Grandma's Tiny House. It's also a counting story. So let's see how high we are gonna count in this book. This is by Janae Brown Wood. Tiny in size, at the edge of Brown Street, sits Grandma's old house, where we all go to meet. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this time? Who knows? Look at all those photos. So those are all the family members. One grandma waits in her big easy chair while two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. Five family friends strut straight up the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jam made of pears. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, ice cold and fine. Nine chatting aunties all head for the den and set down the cheesecakes that add up to 10. All right, we're already up to 10. We'll go even higher. 11 nephews join, slapping high fives and fumbling 12 sweet potato pies. 13 thrilled nieces burst on the scene with 14 fresh honeydew, juicy and green. And who was that running? Last but not least, 15 hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. Uh-oh. That's when the walls bulge. There is no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny place? Oh no. I know. We've stuffed this old house, but the yard's long and wide. 
Why don't we move our big dinner outside? So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces, while uncles and aunts lug dinnerware pieces. Friends grab the tables, grandkids grab the chairs. The rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sits grandma's backyard where we all go to eat. All the end. That's a great story. And it is really fun to share meals outside when you can, when the weather's okay and it's not too cold or rainy. All right. And we saw lots of different kinds of food in there too. We saw turkey and then we saw desserts like pies. Well, a very popular kind of dessert, especially at this time of year, is a cookie like this one. Do you know what that is? What would you call that? Right, it's a gingerbread man. And I have some different gingerbread man here. Let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Can you show me five? We have five gingerbread men lying on a tray. Uh-oh, one jumped away and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really fast, I'm the gingerbread man. So he ran away. We're going to do that again. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Four little gingerbread men lying in a tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. We are down to three little gingerbread men lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. Uh-oh, only two left. Two little gingerbread men lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really fast. I'm the gingerbread man. One little gingerbread man lying on the tray. He jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really fast. I'm the gingerbread man. Uh-oh. We have no gingerbread men left. No more gingerbread men lying on the tray. They all jumped up and ran away. Oh, how I wish they'd stayed with me to play. Next time I'll have to eat them before they run away. All right, for our next rhyme, I would like you to grab, hopefully you have um, maybe a towel or a blanket or a scarf or something that you can use to do this rhyme with me. See if you can grab something, I have a scarf. If you don't have anything with you, you can just do it with your hands, um, but it is kind of fun to try to make it really small in a ball and put it in your hands. So this is about another food that I like to eat this time of year too. It's about popcorn. Have you ever had popcorn? And you know, they start out really small like kernels, and then when you heat them up, they pop. And that's when they are delicious and you can eat them. So we're going to do a little rhyme about popcorn kernels. So if you've got your blanket or your washcloth or your scarf ready to go, um, or if not, just use your hands. And the rhyme goes like this. We're going to start by curling that up into a ball. See if you can get it inside your hand real tight. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Here we got it. Shh. 
shake it up. Ready? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it until they pop, until they pop. All right, let's try that again. All right, get your hands real tight. And if you've got your washcloth inside, okay, here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it until they pop, until they pop. Good job. Okay, let's see if you can guess some of the food in this next book. It is called Giant Pop Out Food. So I'm gonna give you some clues and then you see if you can figure out which, which food we are talking about. Okay. They sizzle in a frying pan. Then onto your breakfast plate they go. What are they? Oh, and it looks like you might put this on them. Syrup? Let's see. Pancakes. Mm. Or maybe you said waffles. Although you don't make waffles in the frying pan, you have a special waffle maker for those. Yum. All right, next clue. You start with two slices of bread. Then you spread peanut butter on one side. And then you put your favorite jelly or jam on the other side. I know what this one is. Did you say a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? You're right. It starts on a farm with different types of seeds. Crunchy veggies make it tasty. Peel, dice, slice, and toss, then serve them up for a healthy lunch. So we've got some lettuce, tomato, onions going in a bowl. What could that be? It's a salad. Yum. Oh, and it looks like maybe some cheese on there too. Right. You toss the dough before it's baked. Then you choose the veggies, cheese, and meat to go on top. Hmm, we talked about this one, I think. Comes from Italy. It's a pizza. Oh, and it looks like this one has those pepperonis on top. Its seed is small, but this fruit grows to be heavy. The skin is thick, striped, and green. So pretty. You can take it on a picnic or a bright red treat. Green on the outside, red on the inside. Gets really big. Yeah, it's a watermelon. Choose your favorite flavor, and then you can serve it in this. Use a scoop and dig it out. I bet you know this one. That's right, it's an ice cream cone. Good job. All right, so we are just about out of time. We are going to go ahead and sing our goodbye rhyme. And we can sing this one a couple of times, just like we did for the hello rhyme. Um, and it go, it's the more we get together and we need some sign language again. So we're gonna say more by putting our fingers together like this, more. And then together, we're gonna put our hands together and move them in a circle. Kind of like you're stirring a pot. More and together. And then the word for happy is you give a big smile and put your hands by your chest for happy. And then we need to know friends. We did this one at the beginning. You give your two pointy fingers a little hug. Okay, it goes like this. The more we get together, 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 
the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. All right, let's try that one more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Facebook.